CSIR is cutting their resources because they don't have resources. Because the people involved in this particular field, science and technology background, they are heavily involved in political decisions. They are powerful people. They are sitting in there and taking decisions all over. Right? So they don't want to distribute their precious time in the field of life sciences. That's basically the truth. They are not trying to do this. They, they don't want to, do, to give their time. They don't want to spare any time. So what they want to do, they want to terminate DBT bet. And this is the way that they showed you that we are not terminating, we are merging them. But in reality, they are actually discouraging life science candidates to take zoology, botany, physiology as their subject of stream, microbiology as a, as a stream of their subject. They don't want you to do that. Is that the reality that you want to do? Right? Then disclose clearly how many seats are going to be present. Earlier, if you give 5,000 people GRF, now next time, if the exam is conducted once a year, are you going to provide the examination GRF to, uh, let's say, uh, more than 10,000 people, 12,000, maybe 15,000 people? Clarify this. Syllabus is increasing every time. But how, what about the stipend? Are you going to, do you going to improve the stipend? Are you going to do that? Please elaborate. Whether the stipend is going to remain the same or is going to change. It is important to know 30,000, 35,000 rupees is no longer uh, enough for a PhD candidate who is working 12 to 16 hours a day, slogging their life for the sake of the society. But the society doesn't know what they are doing. Society never know what PhD means. They only know one thing. They only know doctor means, do, doctor means is a medical profession. There are no other doctors available. Their conception of scientist is still the mad man, mad person. Change this. What is your take on this? Please mention that.